So guys, if you remember the last Ghibli movie review I did, My Neighbor Totoro, I mentioned how that film felt like a very relaxing movie that didn't have a whole lot going on, but was, but it was still seen as really famous. And I also mentioned how I personally wouldn't play that as one of my favorite Yuji Ghibli movies just by how famous it is. For me, that kind of movie is very heat he delivery service. A lot of what happened in the last movie happened here, but in my opinion, it's done way better. And I'm not a hundred percent sure about this, but I think this might be my favorite Yu Yu Ghibli movie. It's hard to explain, but everything that happened in this movie just got me very emotionally, and I absolutely adore this film. I know mo other movies like, um, Spirited Away or Howl's Moving Castle might be some other people's favorite Ghibli film, but for me, this is my favorite. It's hard to really explain, but I've mentioned this a lot already about how these movies usually don't have that much of interest really happening, but they still keep that really engaged. Yeah, and in my opinion, this is a movie that does that but bad. The first time I saw this, it filled me with so many emotions, even though there really isn't that much going on. Or very very least, it doesn't have anything that big about it. But it just done the best way it could have been done for this very smaller movie. The movie is about a small girl named Titi who's a witch and she's leaving home to find her own place and get a job. She and her cat Gigi fly out to a town where they find it hard to be accepted by the people. But but, but she meets a lady named Asono who, who, uh, who owns her own bread door and lets he eat day with her and he, he decides to become a delivery girl there with her flying for the job. And that, and that's really about it. It's mostly just following he, he as she tried to adjust to being in this new town and doing the job. And I think the film is all the better for it. Like I said, even though this is a lot of, like a lot of other Ghibli movies where not that much is really happening, but there's some Thing about it that's super engaging. There's just something about how this one does it in particular that made me really, really love it and made me, and yeah, just made this film my favorite they've ever done. I guess the main thing I like is how they spend a lot of time in the town and you get to know it so well. I would say, I would say the animation helps with that because as always the film is really done and the way they do the town is really gorgeous and yeah just going through it is really relaxed. Thing. Actually, remember in My Neighbor Totoro, I mentioned how the film was a film that was really relaxing to watch? This, is the, this one is the best one for that. I love when a movie can make me feel super relaxed from just watching characters doing very mundane things, but they still have it be very comforting to watch. But a bit, but another a big part for that is that Harris hears them tell. I really, really love a lot of the characters. He, he herself is very likable. Gigi is, is really funny with his sarcastic sense of humor. And a lot of the other characters like the show note combo and Ursula are re really likable too. And just seeing them go through this town and living their lives is something I really love. I really love that the film doesn't really have much of a structure to it. It doesn't feel like how a movie generally does with not feeling like it's building to anything or that, it, that there's any kind of real payoff. Sure, there is kind of a climax that 
Leanne, yeah, I do like how they have it where it feels like she, she is losing her powers and needs to be able to think clearly in order to get them back. And the way they do that is really interesting too with needing to stay combo. But even before that, the regular stuff with the Harry really does Harry the movie for me. I love when Titi helps that old lady bake something for her granddaughter and then when she doesn't like that it's really raging dude. Yeah, and I love when Titi meets Ursula for the first time and then you see her passion for her art and then when you see her again at the end with Titi getting with her for a small while. And like I said, the animation really does make this put make the town feel like a place you almost kind of want to live in. But the animation also just breaks up too, like when she's flying around and it blasted by the wind and how they do that is really impressive and amazing, especially for something that came out in 1989. And the English hat is absolute flawless in this. They couldn't have done a better job. Kirsten Dunn is absolutely, is an absolutely phenomenal acting story for T.T. with the voice she's using that fit T.T. flawlessly. And so Hartman is also perfect and really funny as Gigi. And even others like Chris McNeil, Matthew Lauren, Janine Garofalo, and Debbie Reynolds all do a fantastic job as well. So again, I don't really know how to explain it, but even though this film does have a lot of similar things to do with a lot of other Ghibli movies with not that much going on, it's just a very slow paced movie where he, he is just doing, uh, trying to do everything he can to do her job and live her life. I just feel like this movie is the one that does all of that to perfect better than any of the others, and I love it for that. I just feel like this movie helped me understand why people get so into these movies. I kind of already understood, but this one did it the best for me and made me adore these movies even more. So yeah, I would absolutely recommend checking this movie out. Even if you're not really a fan of this kind of movie, I would still say that this one out in particular. So, yeah, guys, so that's my review for my for heat, heat delivery service. So, yeah, everyone, as always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all like this. I hope you all like this video. If you did, then please like this video. Please comment down below to tell me what you think. Please follow me on Twitter at Daniel Maloney. Hey, hey, and Disney fan, where I do Kingdom Hearts and Disney plays every day and yeah if you know someone who might like my my content and my channel then please help share my content in any way you can to help my channel grow and please subscribe for more content like that coming soon I'll see you all next time take care